So in this little tutorial, I'm going to show you how to do live MIDI looping in Ableton. And I have a little controller up over here, but you don't need one. So basically, you first need to just select some type of instrument you can use. And I'll select wavetable here. And now what I want to do is record it. And I have a couple record settings that I recommend. First of all, this. It says quantization menu. You look down here, this little, I've taken this help button and shown it. And it says, this is global launch quantization. And what it's going to do is when I record, it's going to make it so it only records within one bar. So if I record three quarters of a bar, it'll still automatically loop at one bar. So we could do like four bars of something. And right after we finish um, the last little beat of our measure, we can hit stop and it'll continue to loop at four bars. Next thing we want is we want edit menu and go to quantize. This is um, quantization that happens right as you record. So you don't have to do it afterwards. I recommend depending on how fast you play eighth note or 16th note quantization. I'm going to just do eighth note quantization, which means twice as fast as the beat. Remember the beat is always quarter note. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on this little record button, the session record. It's going to record into this particular clip. I don't have any clip size in it, but I don't need one. I'm going to put it on metronome so I can hear it. And I'm going to make it so that it counts in for one bar. It'll be one, two, three, four, and then it'll start recording. I'm only going to do that for the first track. For the rest of them, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to disable it. Cool. So let's go ahead and do it. I'm going to click on here. Let's go in here, record again. Now I'm going to record, um, I'm going to hit this place in the very right. Th these are called scenes. They play everything that's going horizontally from left to right. Um, I'm going to hit play, take off this metronome, and then I'll play my beat along with it. Play. Okay. It's almost done. Ready? So it automatically made my loop for me. Take that, drag it over to make a new track. I should have recorded, I forgot to. So if you hit this little button here, it'll capture the MIDI after you've already recorded it. So that's a pretty sweet feature. I thought I played it the way I thought it sounded right the first time before I recorded it. And after it, afterwards, if you decide, oh shoot, I should have recorded it for MIDI, just hit that capture button and record whatever you've just been playing. Um, I have some extra stuff that I experimented with in the very beginning. It wasn't part of what I wanted to record it. And Ableton knew this because it has quantize, global quantize on one measure. So it didn't start right in this weird place. It started right at three. I'm gonna right click on this though. I'm gonna say crop clip. And that's gonna make it all start at one. It didn't enable quantize record when I did this capture thing. Let's, let's see. We'll select all by Apple A. Hit Apple Shift U. We don't want quarter note quantize. We want eighth. Let's see what that looks like. There we go. And that's it. Live looping.